Hey friends and happy holidays. Tonight, I am hanging out at Disney Springs. I'm gonna be showing you all of my favorite holiday happenings at the Springs this year, including an adult version of Milk and Cookies at the Holiday Bar, some really nifty holiday photo pass offerings, and of course, all the Christmas music and lights. So, let's go do this. I feel like Disney Springs is doing a real good job this year as it comes to the holiday offerings. Later on tonight, this area is gonna get all lit up and we're even gonna have some snow, my favorite. Disney Springs is actually hosting me tonight and it's giving me a better opportunity to be able to show you all these cool festivities. So thank you to them, I'm so appreciative of it. And now I just kind of really wanna enjoy all the holiday offerings. Luckily tonight, I'm actually not by myself. I have a friend with me, Jackie, super enthused. Hello, everybody. So we're gonna enjoy all the holiday festivities tonight. Are you excited? Always. Always excited. <laughs> I think the first thing I'm gonna do is actually head on over to the Disney Photo Pass studio and get my picture taken with the holiday backdrops, including a virtual Santa. I like to do that first because, you know, you're you're in the best condition when you first arrive at the springs or at the park so photos first is always a good way to go here is a couple of the holiday backdrops that they have including the virtual santa one right here take a look at that that really looks real like santa's actually in the photo with you but he's not it's actually all done by a green screen backdrop so i'm excited to see what this looks like I really appreciate the fact that they have this opportunity here because, you know, it's going to be real hard to get those classic Santa photos this year because of the social distancing and everything like that. So a virtual Santa, that's the way I like it. And just because we're taking virtual pictures with Santa doesn't mean Santa Claus isn't at Disney Springs this year. He's actually here and he's actually going about in a boat. So we're gonna actually find him and see if we can get a quick hello or happy holidays. Merry Christmas! It was so cool seeing Santa floating on the water. Did you hear him? I think he looked right at me and said, Merry Christmas! <laughs> I also have to say, if you're gonna be hearing any jingling, uh, it's because I've got this wonderful sipper uh, hanging around my neck. It makes a little jingle jangle. Jingle jangle! Now that we have officially got our photos with Santa Claus and seen the big guy himself, I think we're gonna get something to eat and probably those milk and cookies, the adult version from Jock Lindsay's Holiday Bar. I'm so excited, they even have holiday food offerings. So this is like the best of both worlds. I've already done a video once here this year when I came and did the Christmas tree trail, which actually you should check out. I'll put that in the description. But when I seen they had an adult version of milk and cookies, I knew I had to come back. This place is so festive. I absolutely love it. We got a table right in the corner, and it's so funny because you kind of look out, it's like the perfect viewing area of all the decorations right here in the corner. Look at little Santa Claus, and then all of this. Like, holy moly, right? Oh, I cannot wait to get some holiday drinks and food. Here is a look at all the holiday specialties. We've got deviled eggs, grandma's favorite sliders, which I actually might end up getting. And then they have the milk and cookies by Fireside. That is gonna be our dessert, $25. And look at all you get though. I mean, I'm excited because I've never actually had coquito. Did I say that right? You did, that was oh, really good. I've been practicing. <laughs> Because the Coquito is kind of like a actual eggnog drink, uh, I'm not gonna get Jock's eggnog because that's like the most famous thing here. Instead, I'm gonna get myself a Christmas Kringle and it's like a cranberry beer and then I'm gonna get Grandma's sliders and then like I said, for dessert, we're gonna have milk and cookies. Cheers. And there they are, Grandma's sliders. Look at that, they look so, oh, they smell so delicious. I just got like a big waff of air. Oh wow, that is so cool. 
Oh it's so funny because I got grandma's sliders and Jackie got Papa Noel's churrasco. churrasco. Yeah. Isn't that funny? <laughs> so I got grandma's and you got Papa's. Yeah. <laughs> They're basically just venison sliders with cranberry jam, lettuce, and tomato. I mean, that's really nifty, right? And they're pretty big. Like, that's not like a slider slider. I would say that's like a full-size burger. Like, look at the size of them. They're so big, actually. Anywho's, I gotta try this because the smell is literally just driving me insane. This was so, so good. I don't know how I felt about the cranberry jam at first, but Afterwards, I really, really enjoyed it. Jackie's looks good too. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. The food was absolutely delicious. I love my sliders, and Jackie loved her uh, papas, whatever. Yeah, churrasco. Churrasco. It's really, really good. But now it's time for the milk and cookies by the fireside. I am so excited. Like I said, this is more of an alcoholic adult version of milk and cookies, but regardless, this is right up my alley. Here it is, the milking cookies with the coquito, which is basically like a, a eggnog, an alcoholic eggnog. I heard it's a little bit stronger, and we actually got uh, one craft, and then we get to, you know, share, and then all of the cookies are three and three. So I'm very excited to try this. And I'm going to try to just stick my guy right in here. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's gonna slide in there perfectly. <laughs> oh, look at that. Perfect fit. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is how you eat milk and cookies, right? Yeah. Oh, look at, oh, wow. Oh. I guess I'm going feet first. Oh, look at, it's getting so much better. Honestly, I absolutely love this. I really, really do, and it's good to dip them. I didn't think that was gonna be a good thing, but wow. They are so good. The cookies are a little hard, so you gotta let them sit in there a little bit longer just so they can soak it up. But man, I'm so excited to try the coquito afterwards after dipping all the cookies in yeah, it. Yeah, it's gonna get sweeter. And yeah. Sweeter. Whoop. <laughs> so Jackie actually started off with the Christmas tree. I ate all of mine except for the Christmas tree, but I can already tell you that one is my favorite. And it's got a little Mickey on it too. You see that? Hands down my favorite. So now we're gonna have to uh, top off the coquito now. Oh, super sweet. Oh, oh. Now I think we're gonna move along because it's gotten a lot darker out and I can tell things are getting a little bit more merry and bright out there and I'm excited to see some fake snow. It definitely got darker out here just like I was waiting for it because now we get to see all the pretty Christmas lights. I can also turn on my lights for my Mickey Bell sipper. You can get this at BB Wolf's down here and I think they sell it at Hollywood Studios so I was excited to grab it when I seen it. Oh, it looks like some toy soldiers are out here, too. Hello! Hey! Happy oh, happy holidays! That's quite a Happy, happy holidays! Like <laughs> oh, oh wow! All right, now they're just showing off over here. <laughs> oh, boy, we're running over because it's starting to snow. Oh, I gotta get there, I gotta get there! Oh, look at this! To rock the night away. Jingle bell time, it's the swell time to go riding in a one horse sleigh. Oh, I absolutely love snow. And they're really throwing it out here. Oh, this is great. This is so awesome to be covered in snow. You know, I don't know anywhere else at Walt Disney World where you can experience this now. I know that they're still doing it in the Frozen show, but they used to do it at Hollywood Studios, at Magic Kingdom. I feel like this is the only place where you can just kind of hang out and get snow. And it's definitely a lot. Look at this. It is so awesome to know that they just keep the stoke machines running, like just constantly. Oh, I can hang out here for hours, but there's still a lot of ground to cover here, and there's a lot more holiday stuff to go about. Now we're seeing all the Christmas lights turn on, and the ornaments, these change colors. Wow, beautiful. I see some more holiday performers, just like the toy soldiers that are walking around on stilts. 
Look at these festive ice skaters. Oh yeah, look at them go. <laughs> wow. Santa approved. It's so cool to see kind of like street performers just roaming around the spring. But now, I think we're going to try to get ourselves another holiday beverage. And I know that the different Disney Springs bar, like pop-up little spots, actually have some special holiday cocktails. Right here are the signature cocktails. They have a fireside cider, which I think I'm going to go with that. A little bit of Stoli Vanilla Vodka, Fireball Cinnamon Whiskey, White Cranberry Juice. Wow, this seems really, really good. And then they have a mistletoe and a yule meal. Very clever. Right outside Dockside Margaritas, we found a wonderful place to come and enjoy our drinks with the little heaters. Oh yeah. This is so beautiful and they're actually playing Christmas music. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, we're excited for more. More Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Another reason why this is such an amazing thing right now is like I said, we have the space heaters. It's 48 degrees out tonight. So uh, that's why Jackie's got the scarf on. I don't know, I own like three scarves. <laughs> it's nice to just keep a little warm. was such a great place to sit down and relax and actually if you're there they have a margarita stand and that margarita stand has a holiday drink called the Feliz Navidad we didn't get that because we actually got the uh, cider drink and then sat over there but now we're gonna move along Kelly was fantastic with the Christmas music so 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 happy they also have a little performance area here and they have a DJ kind of like playing some of the Christmas hits like remixed it's very pretty over here and I like the green and red lights. Since we were sitting actually by the fire for a while, we decided we wanted to get maybe a hot beverage. So we're gonna go over to Wine Bar George where they actually have a mulled wine, which is kind of like a hot wine. And that would be a wonderful drink to just kind of warm up to. And they don't offer it all year long. They just started offering it for the holiday season. And here it is, the most wonderful wine of the year. The mulled wine is back. I'm so excited. And take a look at all the decorations at Wine Bar George. It's a very pretty area and they have all of their heaters on too. Oh, this is just a great season. Whoop, there they are. So here is the mold wine for you guys. Nice and fresh and hot, all right? Thanks, Colin. <laughs> the red wine and they put spices in there. And Ooh. honestly, it's Christmas in a cup. Oh, Christmas in a cup. Awesome. Thank you so Cheers. much. Cheers. <laughs> now, Colin said this is basically like Christmas in a cup. I'm so excited. I don't think I've ever had this. Now, Jackie's had it before and she raves about it. Oh, she raves about it. <laughs> oh, wow. Is that great? Oh, there's so much happening in that sip. Yeah. And it's hot and it's delicious. Definitely keeps your hands warm. I like it. I really enjoy my first mold wine. It kind of reminds me of like an apple pie for some reason. Why? Yeah, it is like an apple pie. I think it's because of the like the spices that are in oh, it. Yeah. It is really good though, good. and it's thick and it's hot. Really good. It's important to say that they actually don't offer that mullard wine all year round. This is a seasonal thing just for cold weather and for the holidays, and I absolutely loved it. So now we're gonna move along and see what other holiday festivities we can get going. And since we're over here, we might as well take a peek inside the ganachery and see what kind of holiday offerings they got going on here. Very good chocolate. Just take a look at all that chocolate. Holy moly, right? Oh. I just feel like Willy Wonka. Oh, and they're doing such great things back there. We're gonna start right here. We've got our uh, Christmas cottages. Oh. Ooh. This is the area we've got 
done these, they are, they're done in a milk chocolate and um, they're painted with cocoa butter. On the back there is a Mickey and a Minnie Mouse smooching. Aww. Aww. Then we have, this is uh, called the Olaf Surprise. It's um, kind of like our version of the what's all the rage right now, those cocoa bomb things. This is, on that idea, you melt him in your hot milk and cream and he starts to melt and as he melts he releases all the hot cocoa powder that's inside of him. Oh. And you top him with little um, snow flurries of fresh made marshmallows. That's awesome. Even with all that fancy stuff, they actually have an eggnog ganache. I gotta try it, gotta try it. Right there, that is the chocolate bourbon eggnog. Look how festive they look. Look at the little packaging here. So we got one for me and one for Jackie. I'm excited, I'm, I really wanna try it. Look at it! It's just like a little tiny thing. Eggnog and bourbon. This is gonna be good. Just so good. Absolutely amazing. I love ganachery. Now we're gonna hop over into STK because Tis the Season is the name of a special drink that they have. And plus we can use a snacky poo. Do you know something that's really funny is me and Jackie both haven't yep. been in here since the opening day of Disney Springs. Right, this was the first place we actually dined at and they were having special like welcome back, yeah. thank you, like a cocktail, like a whole thing. So it's nice to come back now, tis the season. Nice. Yeah. It is a beautiful restaurant in here though. I absolutely love all of the decor and the pretty lights. Not only do they have the Tis the Season cocktail, but they do have December specials, and some of these look absolutely amazing, including a holiday surf and turf, which is actually a filet, a king crab, a main lobster, and also some black truffles. That sounds pretty amazing. Here it is, Tis the Season. Take a look at that. Wow. like perfection and here it is tis the season they actually make their own marshmallow syrup here like they toast it and make it and what are you doing I'm having a candlelight processional for you oh, oh. tis the season Is that gonna win the best drink of the night? Best drink of the night. Wow. Wow. I knew it. The cocoa rim, right when it hits you, and then that creamy drink, the marshmallow is like palpable. Like, best drink of the night. Best drink of the night. This drink is just so good. Like I said, the best holiday drink of the night. I love it. I absolutely love the Tis the Season cocktail. We also got some truffle fries that were amazing. I wanted to get maybe something from like the festive menu, but I don't think I can handle like a big, big dinner. Definitely gonna come back here and check out some of those items. But overall, I really love the Tis the Season. That was a delicious, delicious holiday drink. And look at the little STK Christmas tree. It's so cute. I like it. But I think we're gonna need to move along. And with that, I think we are calling it a night. Thank you again to Disney Springs for inviting me out to give you guys a look at some of the cool holiday offerings. We tried a lot of cool holiday food, some holiday treats, some holiday drinks, and even some holiday entertainment. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!